One of the most mysterious questions man has ever asked himself is, is there life after death? What is our destination? Is it possible to contact our missing loved ones? The souls of the departed can help us from beyond? Do ghosts exist? Why are there evil entities? For millennia, people of all cultures, coming from every single corner of the planet, have tried to give an explanation, an answer to all these questions. Man defied death, called death, filmed death. Despite all attempts, today there are no concrete truths. However, there are people who dedicate their lives to the research and study of paranormal phenomena. For them, ghosts exist, they can get in touch with us. People also call them, the ghost hunters. One of them is Zach Biggins. Zach was born on April 5, 1977 in Washington, D.C. In 1995 he graduated from Glenbird West High School in Glen Ellen, Illinois. Bagans, attended the Institute of Motion Picture in Michigan, and after graduating from MPI, he moved to Las Vegas, aspiring to make documentaries. Bagans never believed in paranormal phenomena, but a face-to-face, -face encounter with the spirit of a suicidal woman, in his old apartment in Trenton, Michigan, makes him completely change his mind. In fact, in 2004, Zach Bagans collaborated with Nick Roth and Aaron Goodwin to produce a documentary film called, Ghost Adventures. To create the series, he uses highly sophisticated and purpose-built instrumentation, to record every single testimony. There are in fact K2 or magnetic field detectors, directional microphones, thermal cameras, infrared cameras, spirit boxes, motion sensors, infrared scanners. The series will be very successful, because they will shoot videos at all the most famous haunted houses in the world. At the same time, it will be heavily criticized because Zach, in order to get answers, is willing to insult and criticize the entities. This way of behaving works more than other methods, even, if there are no tools, suitable to determine if the videos shot are real or elaborated hoax. Zach Biggins, declares that the episodes of the television series have not been manipulated, all the anomalies recorded are real. And the goal is always the same, to demonstrate, that there is a parallel reality to ours, where the dead can interact with us. Confirming his words, are the testimonies to the press, of those who participated in the shooting, among them Nancy Wagner, Mike Haberman and Bishop James Long. In fact, during the broadcast, the protagonists seem to interact with invisible entities, and the most obvious investigation of all, was certainly that of November 2013, when Biggins and his crew go to Bobby Mackey's, a country place known all over the world as, the Gate of Hell, located on the banks of the Licking River in Wilder, Kentucky. It is currently considered, one of the most haunted and dangerous places in the world, due to an alleged transition between our dimension, and the demonic one. Over the years, this place has collected a huge number of sightings, and cases of paranormal aggression, there is talk of people thrown down the stairs by invisible forces, marks on the body similar to cuts left by claws, and an endless collection of declarations of victims. It was built in 1800 as a slaughterhouse, and the enormous amount of blood spilled, and its location on the banks of the Licking River, attracted a handful of satanic worshippers, who used the site to make sacrifices of all kinds. Here too, as in other investigations, Bagans begins to insult the local entities, provoking them to have an interaction with them. And it is here, at Bobby Mackey's Music World, that Bagans appears to be physically assaulted, with a deep scratch on his back and a strong feeling of inadequacy. Oh my god! What? No, what? Stay, turn around, turn around, turn around! What? Just stay there. I need to document this. What we is need this? to get this on camera, man. Oh. Aaron, do you got that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Do you have that on you? Immediately after the attack, Bagans does not seem to want to stop, and continues to insult the entities for further evidence. The TV show, continues to be more and more successful and persuade Bagans, to do more. In fact, in January 2014, he bought the Demon House for $35,000, one of the most haunted houses in the world, sadly known for causing the demonic possession of a 12-year-old girl, and her little brother who was 9 years old at the time. There are reliable documents, signed by social workers, police officers and doctors, where it is said that children levitated in the air, and spoke incomprehensible languages. Here Zach, shoots a documentary with the incredible testimonies of the previous owner, Latoya Emmons, who claims to have been possessed together with her children, by extremely powerful and intelligent entities. In particular, from the statements of Emmons, there seems to be one evil entity, that prevails over the others, very intelligent and able to do things, never seen before. Among the various testimonies, the statements of the family doctor and a nurse, who intervened following the call of Ammons, for an illness of the son, are particularly frightening. 
They both say, they saw the seven-year-old youngest son, speak an unknown language by moving his mouth abnormally, while in the next room, the other brother growled like a dog, walking backwards and climbing the wall to the ceiling. From there H.E. has turned upside down, and launching a heli scream, he jumped on Grandma. After shooting the documentary, Zack decides in January 2016, to have the Ammon's house demolished, declaring that this place is a real portal to hell, which houses the presence of 200 different demons. It's November 2014, when Nick Groff, co-founder of the Ghost Adventures series, announces that he wants to leave the show. Nick, after an investigation at Bobby Mackey's, said he witnessed unexplained events in his home. Even Aaron Goodwin, following the first season of the program, claims to have witnessed unexplained and paranormal events inside his home, along with his wife. Thus begins a strong marital crisis, that leads him to separation. It is September 22, 2015 when, Mark and Debbie Costantino, spouses and collaborators of the series, are found dead together with a third person in an apartment. An inexplicable escalation of violence, led the man to commit a homicide-suicide and the two, EVP experts, died according to some fans, after strange expressions of concern, captured in the TV series. They actively collaborated with Zack, and were very thorough, especially during the investigation at Bobby Mackey's. On July 7, 2016, another famous paranormal researcher, and protagonist of the haunting Australia TV series, 32-year-old Gora Tuari, with over 6,000 investigations and 7 years of activity, is found dead in his home. For some time, he claimed to be struggling with the negative force, that was trying to control his life. His wife and friends, knew about this state of mind, but thought he was just depressed from work. He had also issued a statement to the Times of India, saying he was controlling an evil energy that bothered him. Police found Gaurav in the bathroom, dead of asphyxiation, with a large bruise surrounding his throat. Perhaps, it is good to consider the words of a young medium, Pascal Wagenhuber, who argues that all the dead, even the bad ones, are in the light. This is why, many professionals in the sector advise against Ouija boards, or seances. Even if the curiosity of knowledge, plays a fundamental role, it is necessary to take the road, with a little preparation, without bringing with you, fears or personal problems, to have a good state of mind, awareness and respect for the unknown. We'll